What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com, back with another SketchUp quick tip for you. So today we're going to talk about something that maybe isn't the most exciting thing in the world, but it's very important, it's going to save you a ton of time if you didn't know that you can do it. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So uh, first thing first, uh, like I said, it's not the most exciting thing in the world, so I figured what I'd do is I'd start off with a really cool model that I downloaded from the 3D warehouse. Uh, this is Bumblebee from the Transformers movies, and it's a really super cool model. Um, by Mandoon. So I'll uh, make a note in the corner in case you want to download this model. He also had a full model of the actual Camaro from that movie too. So if you take a look at the detail and everything else, he did a really good job with this. But we're going to use this model for a quick um, demonstration. So basically what I'm going to talk about in this video is I want to talk about using inferencing to move things around in your model. So a lot of the time what you're going to do when you move something around in your model is you're going to pick a point and you're going to move to it. So like let's say for example I wanted to take Bumblebee here and I wanted to take this foot and I wanted to place it on this point just like this. That's pretty easy to do. So if you had a line and you just wanted to place this on the edge of the line just like this, you would just activate the move tool, click on a point once to move, and then click again to set your model just like this. So if you've got like a set point like that, it's pretty easy to move something around. But one of the things that'll make your life a lot easier is you can also use inferencing to move this without actually having to click on the point where you want them to be. So, and what I mean by that is if you look at this line right here, this is a 50 foot line. Well, in this case, if I wanted to move Bumblebee 50 feet in this direction, um, I, I could use the move tool and type in 50 feet just like this and hit the enter key. But a lot of the time what you're going to be doing is you're going to be moving things around real quick in your model and you're going to want to use something as kind of a reference point. Like for example, if I just drew kind of a random line out here just like this and I didn't know what the length was, instead of going in and figuring out what the length is and then doing a precise move, what you can do instead is you can use inferencing to move this model quickly and easily. So all you do to do that is to activate the move tool by tapping the M key, you would click once to set your base point, and then you'd move your mouse until you lock along the, the axis that you want to lock along. So in this case, that would be the green axis. I'd move my mouse until this locks on the green axis, and then I'd hold the shift key. And when I hold the shift key, you can see what that does is that locks my model to the green axis, just like this. So you can see how no matter where I move my mouse, I'm always gonna be along that green axis as long as I'm holding the shift key down. And what that allows me to do is that allows me to move my mouse over this point, just like this, until this turns into a little green point and you can see how the other point on Bumblebee's foot is red. Basically what that's telling you is this is lined up with the end of this line. That red point on his foot is lined up with the green point on this line. And so you can also do this to move to like the midpoint of a line just like this. So if I wanted to move him to the middle of this line I could do that. Um, as long as I hold that shift key I can kind of move him wherever I want on the green axis. And then, so let's say that I moved him to the midpoint of this line just like this, and then I had another line over here and I wanted him to be to the midpoint of that line as well. I would just move my mouse until it's over the blue axis, hold the shift key, and then put my mouse over the midpoint of this line over here. And then I would click. And you can see what that'll do is that'll place that point on his foot um, straight across from the midpoint of this line along the blue axis just like this and in this way you can move things around really quickly so like now if I wanted to put him straight over top of this midpoint I could do that I could move him back to the back here just like that so it's really quick and really easy to do this the other thing to know about is you can also tap the arrow keys on your keyboard and I've talked about this before so like for example if I kinda move this right here you can see I'm not moving him along an axis but if I type like the left arrow key on my keyboard, you can see how now he's locked to the green axis just like this. So if you tap the left key, you can lock to green. If you tap the up key, you can lock to the blue axis. And if you tap the right key, you can lock to the red axis. So now I could move him out here so that he's lined up with this top point just like this. So what happens is you start getting really good at moving your stuff around in your model really fast. So this is something you should really try to master because you're going to use it a lot when you're working on stuff. 
So anyway, that's where I'm gonna wrap up this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know, did you know about this? Have you been using it? Was this video too simple for you? I just love having that sketch up conversation with you guys. Uh, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new sketch up content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider visiting my support me page on my website. Uh, I'll link to that down below, but that has everything from links to my Patreon page to some extensions you can purchase to to support the show. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.